Here's how to screen record on Mac. Whether you're looking for a free screen recorder or pro level screen recording software, we're gonna cover the top Mac screen capture tools so that you can pick the best one for you. So there's lots of different ways that you can do this and I'm gonna take you through my top options, starting off with the free stuff that's actually built into your Mac and then take you through some more professional apps which are gonna give you more features, more controls to allow you to create better quality screen recordings. So option number one is what you've got built into your Mac and there's actually two two ways that you can access this. The first way is by pressing the keyboard shortcuts Command Shift 5. So when you do that, you get this little pop-up down the bottom here, which will let you create screen recordings and also screenshots or static images too. So these first three options here is to capture an image. So capture entire screen, capture a selected window or a section of your screen. And then these next two here are in regards to recording a video, recording your screen. And again, we can record your entire screen or we can record a selected portion of your screen. So we can pick this, we can drag this around, choose the area we want to record, and that's what we'll be capturing. But what you wanna do first is come down here to options and make sure that this is all set up correctly for you. So we get to choose where we want our file to save. So in this case, we're gonna save it on the desktop. We can enable a countdown timer in here, five seconds or 10 seconds. We can also select a microphone if we wanna record us speaking or narrating at the same time. And you've also got the option down the bottom here to show your mouse clicks. So this is gonna highlight every time you click your mouse or your trackpad to make it easy for someone to follow along with your screen recording. So I'll enable that one. Let's say that we wanna record our entire screen here. We'll pick this one and then we're going to just click anywhere on the screen here. When we do that, the recording starts instantly. There is no countdown timer, but the way that you know that you are recording is is from the little icon up the top here. And when you wanna stop the recording, you just wanna click on that icon and the recording will stop and you get a little preview down the bottom here. If we click on this preview of our recording, then in here we can play it back. We can also do some really basic trimming. So if we click the button up the top here, we can trim off the start. We could also trim off the end if we needed to. We can then hit done and that file is saved out there on our desktop. So really, really simple. Now, the second way that you can access this is through QuickTime Player. So you can go ahead and open up QuickTime Player. So for me, I like to use Spotlight Search, so Command Spacebar on the computer and just start typing in. It says QuickTime Player here. You could also just navigate through to Applications and go down and find QuickTime Player. Now, when you first open it up, you get this little pop-up window. You can just cancel out of that. But what you wanna do though is come up to this top menu bar and in here we can choose File, New Screen Recording. And this is going to again pop up that screen recording toolbar down the bottom of your screen. Now, there's a really cool tip that was shared with us in the comments on our older version of this video from Nick Friedman. Shout out to Nick for this comment and for this tip. This is really awesome. You can actually share your webcam on here as well. So if we cancel out of this, I'm just gonna hit the little X down the bottom. Instead of choosing file new screen recording, we can choose file new movie recording. And this will open up a preview here of our webcam. So from here, we can choose which webcam or camera that's connected to our computer we wanna use for this preview. So I'll leave this one here as the Insta360 link. Let's scale this down and let's maybe move it off to the side here. Maybe we'll make it a little bit smaller. So you can position this wherever you'd like. And then we wanna come up the top here to view and choose float on top. So this now will float on top or appear above anything else that is shown on our screen. Now from here, now that we've got this preview here, we can choose file, new screen recording. As we did before, we can select our screen to start recording. So it's recording right now. And again, we can see by the little stop button up the top here that we are recording. We can then go through, record our computer screen, whatever it is we wanna show. But we do have included in the recording now, our webcam too. And we can pick this up, we can move it around if we need to while recording. And that's going to be baked in or included in our video. Now, one thing to note though, is if you do put your mouse over it, you see you get these playback or recording controls down the bottom here. So it's not perfect, but for simple, quick recording, again for free, it's pretty cool. So yeah, thanks again, Nick, good tip. And again, to stop the recording, we want to hit the stop button up the top here. Let's close out of our preview here. So this is our recorded file and we can see that we have the webcam here included. And when we close this, you can see it's just saved here on our desktop. 
So while that's a good free option, it really doesn't have a great level of customization. You can't really control the recording format, the recording quality. There is a workaround to get the webcam in your recording, but it's nowhere near as good or as customizable as the next options. So the next option, option number two, is Wondershare Demo Creator. And this one packs in so many more features and controls and things to what you were getting for free on Mac. So it even says here, an essential demo making tool that helps learners, educated freelancers and gamers to take idea sharing to the next level. So this will work on Mac, on Windows and on Chromebooks as well. And this is a tool that really packs a punch, but it's also really, really simple and easy to use as well. So of course it's got built in screen recording functionality and it does support up to 120 frames per second. If you are someone who is creating gaming videos, then that could be important to you. It's also got a really powerful and again, easy to use video editing tool in there as well. So you can not only handle the recording piece, but you can also edit down and create great looking videos in here too. It's also got some really powerful AI tools that they're building out in there. And it's also got cloud compatibility as well, meaning you can work remote with team members or even just run it directly from your web browser too. Now for best results, you are better off installing the app and not running through the cloud, but you could use the cloud after your screen recording to collaborate with teams and things. So to screen record in here, once you've installed the program, you wanna come up here to the all-in-one recorder, open that up, and then we're taken to this page here where we get to customize up our recording. So we can choose if we wanna have our webcam recording here, we can just toggle that on or off. We can enable or disable our microphone. Likewise with system audio, so if we wanna record any audio that is played back on the computer, we can turn that on or off here as well. We also have a preview for the camera up here. We can then specify our screen recording area up here, either a custom size here that we've typed in, or we can pick up this box and we can move it around, very similar to what we could do with QuickTime. Or we can actually choose from down here, either a preset resolution, if there's a specific size that you wanna capture, or we can choose to capture our entire screen which we have up the top here. There's also presets in here for portrait. So if we're gonna be creating TikTok or Instagram real style videos, we could screen capture that way. And there's also presets in here for other platforms too. We also don't have to record the screen in here. We could choose don't record screen and we could just record the webcam with microphone and maybe computer audio if we wanted to. Now with this preview here, we can get everything set up for our webcam the way that we want it to look. So instead of having a square or a rectangle here, we could switch it to a circle if we'd like. We can also have some effects and things that we can apply on here. So there's an AI background removal tool here that we can enable and it's, yeah, removed the background. Maybe this will look better if it's on square and you can put me down the bottom here for the recording. It's not perfect. Let's turn this back off. We can also flip the image here if we need to. And there's also some beauty effects and things that we could apply here too, if that's something that you're into. Face thinning, no thank you. Eye size, nose bridge. I don't need to make my nose any bigger. Mouth size, it's at 150%. <laughs> what is going on? They're there if you want it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Now what's really important to note here is that unlike QuickTime where we brought up a preview and that was essentially recorded into our video recording, in here we actually get two options with this. Down here with the video that we're recording, we can choose to export express. So export video directly after recording with no editing required or no editing happening. Or we can choose to edit the recording afterwards. And this way we can actually enable or disable this webcam here, and we can move stuff around after the recording has already happened. And that's normally where I would leave it. So I'd go ahead now and I'd turn off the camera preview now that we know that everything is the way that we want it, so that we're not seeing it. We'll leave this here for editing. Let's hit record. We then go through, record our screen, show whatever it is that we needed to show to make the video. But it's also worth noting that you've got extra tools and things on this menu bar up the top here. So we can expand this out so we can access the full menu. There's a pen here, so we can actually draw on screen. Let's go the blue. So if we really wanna call something out, so we're showing something where we need to draw people's attention there or draw something on screen. We have that ability here to do that. My drawing skills are not great. We've got arrows. So maybe we wanna call out our screen recording up here or draw a box around something. And we can easily clear that here too with one button click. 
We can also add markers. So if something happens while you're recording and you want to come back to it or be able to find it easily in your editing afterwards, then you've got that button here. We can pause our recording. We can restart it if we made a mistake and we want to start again from scratch, or we can click stop when we're done to stop the recording happening. Now from here, it's opened up this editing interface where we can see all of our recording elements on separate video layers. So we've got our audio recording here, we've got our actual webcam on this one, and we've got our screen recording down the bottom here. And each of these are totally different elements. So let's look at our preview up here. Let's say that we didn't want the webcam. We could just select it and delete it and it's actually gone from our recording up here. Or if I undo that now, if I select it, I can come up here and I can click and drag and I can move it around. I can scale it up and down. We can really customize this up. So in here, you would have the ability to maybe start your video full screen. Let's right click on our webcam here. Let's go fit to canvas. So our video here can start with me talking full screen and maybe we want to cut it at this point. We can right click on it, we can choose split. And then for the remainder of the video here, maybe we would scale this back down. So I was down the bottom corner. So essentially you got access to a video editing tool down the bottom here to really customize things up, to trim stuff out, to remove it, to pick things up, to delete them. You can add in text and titles. There's lots of animated graphics and things that you can use. If we come over here to effects, there's lots of different things that we can apply to our recording. So we've got this AI background removal again. We can drag that down here onto our clip and you can see it's gone ahead and it's removed the background for us there too. Now you've also got the ability in here to add in auto-generated captions too. So this is a new or a beta feature here but we can choose start to recognize and that will go through, it will analyze our clip and it'll add the subtitles or the text onto our videos for us. Think of these like Instagram filters or looks and things that we can apply. So yeah, a lot of customization and everything in here. Once you're done with your video, you can come up here to export. We can then choose our file format, MOV or MP4 is where I'd imagine most people are saving stuff out, but you could also just export an MP3 if you wanted audio only. You can then select high, middle or normal in terms of the quality of your project, or you can click here on settings and dial all of this in. Then you just need to hit export and your video will save out. Now in terms of pricing, yes, there is a free version of Wondershare Demo Creator, but I really wouldn't recommend it given how limited and restricted it is. So to unlock access to the main functionality and remove things like the branded watermark, that's when you wanna jump on either the standard plan or the premium plan. But there's also a few different pricing options and things here. The standard plan is probably where most people will sit but if you do wanna unlock more of the advanced editing functionality, the ability to move between Mac and PC, we've also got live streaming support, unlimited downloads from their effects store, that's where you wanna be on the premium plan for $15 a month. But there is also a perpetual, a one-time fee. You can actually purchase this outright, $75 one-time fee. Or there's also annual options here as well, $45 a year for the standard plan or $65 a year on premium. The next option, option number three is Teller. This is another really powerful, really easy to use screen recording tool. And this one as well will either run in your web browser or there's also some software that you can download as well. And for best results, highest quality recordings, I would strongly recommend that you download and install the app. Now these guys have a big focus on helping you create content fast. So yes, there is a lot of more advanced features and stuff in here, but the way that it's laid out and the way that you access it all is really intuitive and it really does make the content creation piece fast. But it's also more of a web-based or cloud-based workflow too, which there are pros and cons of, but I'm a big fan of. In some regards, you could think of this like Loom, but on steroids. So when you open the app, this is what you'll see. Very simple. You then wanna click this little preferences button here to customize up your recording. We can set the quality of our screen recording. We can choose where we wanna show our cursor, record computer audio, yes or no. We can choose our camera recording quality here. Let's go 4K and let's come back up here to close. We can then enable our camera by clicking the button here. You can see that that's working now. And then we can enable our microphone for the recording here too. Once those are enabled, 
we can select what our microphone is. Likewise with our camera, we've got a little selection arrow here for that. We can see that our audio is actually coming through and is going to be captured by the little audio bars here. I personally think this is great and it gives you peace of mind that you are actually recording audio. And obviously we can preview our camera recording up here too. And now for the screen share, we can come down here to this arrow here. We can either again, select an area. So we could draw out an area here, or we can pick an entire screen or even a window or an application that's running. I'm gonna pick this screen here. When you're ready to record, you just wanna hit the record button here. That's going to give us a nice little countdown timer and we are now recording. So if we wanna minimize this while we are recording, we can just hit the little minimize button if you're using just the one screen. We can access that again if we hit the little teller icon at the top here to bring that back up. Now here we can also hit cancel. If we want to scrap this recording, we can restart it. So if we wanna keep recording, but start again from scratch. And then to stop the recording here, we've got two options. We can just stop the recording and not preview it, or we can hit preview, which will stop it and it'll open it up in Teller's web interface. So I'm gonna hit preview here. So it's stopping the recording. It's then gonna take us over to Teller's website. We can see that our clip here is being uploaded because again, we're using Teller's server to hold the recordings here. It's a very online cloud-based approach for this. So we can see very quickly, we've got access to our video file here. We can play this back here. We can edit, trim, we can share it out. We can download the files back to our computer. It's also automatically generated captions for us. So we can edit those, we can turn those on or off. We can also customize up our view settings here as well. So if we wanted to share this out, we can just hit the share button down here or up here. We can grab a direct link to this video to share it out for people to preview. So again, very Loom-like for this functionality. But where it becomes really powerful is if you hit the edit button, then in here we can really customize things up. So straight out, I usually jump into the layouts area here and there's lots of preset layouts that we can select from. Again, these are updated here in real time. You can see how fast this is. So maybe we want the camera in a circle and down the bottom right, we've got access to that here. We can also click on it, pick it up and move it around to wherever we want. We can also scale it up or scale it down if we need to. Likewise with the screen recording piece as well. So maybe we make this a little bit bigger. We can also crop it down from in here as well. So if we choose crop screen, maybe we wanna take off this top menu bar. We could grab the top bar, we could pull it down. Let's apply that and now let's recenter that. We could also add a border here, change the size of it. So instead of it just being a square, we could maybe round the edges. Maybe we even wanna add a shadow or a border. We can also customize up the background in here as well. So we could go a darker color. We could pick a solid color, a gradient, or we could upload our own graphic or image to use in there. But even in terms of the screen recording here, we can zoom in on sections of it. So if we were showing something off and we needed to zoom in the screen at that section, then we can apply a zoom in effect here. We can choose how much we're actually zooming in and if the transition speed to zoom in is slow fast all from up here so if we preview this now it's going to zoom into that section and then zoom back out and again we can control how quick or how long this zoom effect is going to apply for so if we made it really quick just for that section there hit play again quick in and out we're done we just hit done and that's now been applied now we also have the ability in here to add in extra clips and things to record more files. So you can see here, we can record directly from our web browser as well, or we can upload a file down here. But I love how fast and how easy this is, especially that it's done in the cloud. When we're done, we can hit finish. We then have the option to download our video. And then under downloads, we can download the subtitle file. We can download our video in 4K resolution. We can download our clips as separate files on here as well. So you just enable what you want here and then hit start export, and then your files will start downloading. So I absolutely love this workflow. While for some people it might be a negative to have to upload your files to the cloud. Again, it's not a step that you need to take. It's done automatically for you. In a lot of cases, when I'm finished recording, the file's already up there. But what that allows you to do is not have to have a powerful computer because all the processing and everything is handled on their end, but it also opens you up for online collaborations as well. Meaning that you could have a team member or someone remote that's able to log in and either edit live on their website and produce a video for you, or to be able to download those clips to edit in another editing tool, another editing application. And this is how we're creating a lot of our content now for our Primal Video Accelerator program. It's awesome for course creation, but also for the screen recordings for a lot of our YouTube videos too. We're using Teller for those. 
Now in regards to pricing, there is a seven day trial available. So I strongly recommend that you try that out first to make sure it's a fit for you. And then you can jump on their personal plan, $15 a month, where you can have unlimited videos, unlimited recording times, the ability to upload your own clips, 4K export, and lots of other cool features too. But rounding this out, these are my top options for screen recording on Mac right now. If you're just after something super simple, use the built-in option, option number one. If you want more advanced features, controls, customization, then that's where Demo Creator or Teller would come in. Obviously, if you want that cloud-based workflow, they both have it to some degree, but Teller is the standout there as far as I'm concerned. And again, that's what we're using to create our Primal Video Accelerator course content and training materials, but also a lot of our YouTube screen recordings too. Now, as always, We've got videos linked on screen to help you even further. And don't forget to check out the links down in the description box below. I've got a bunch of tools and resources down there to help you too. I'll see you in the next video.